Welcome to Fat Happens, if you've just found it. And welcome back home, if you're one of the members who registered in the first 24 hours. We got about 218 new members just after one mention on Irish television. I've been really thrilled to see how many people have joined already. It's lovely to see, too, how many people have come on board from my Radio Oxford listeners. When I did the breakfast show there, we had a sort of club called the Diamond Dieting Buddies, and we kept each other motivated. Let's all keep in touch here. And it just goes to show how this sort of community is needed. So I just want to say hi to everyone. In a couple of days' time, we hope to be able to show you what happened on Irish TV here in this little box. But what I found interesting, and what resonated straight away with the audience, was this idea that fat happens to you when you're not looking, and then it hits you like a nasty shock when you look in the mirror and wonder, when did I pile on all these pounds? But like the phrase, sh happens, um, fat does happen to people, and it's something you have to find a way to deal with. Bad stuff happens in life. It doesn't mean you accept it, neither does it mean you can always avoid it, but if you want to get on with the rest of your life, you do have to find a way around it. And it happens to the nicest of people. It doesn't mean you're useless, pathetic or stupid, and it doesn't mean you're lazy and a glutton. Just read some of the stories here on this website. Already we have a managing director, a top scientist, a media consultant, a graduate nurse, and lots of teachers and students. I mention them only to prove the point that fat happens to everyone, even those who've got interesting, busy, successful lives, and that fat isn't a sign of stupidity or weakness. Now, Mags, what are you doing up at five in the morning? Or is that the time you come home from work and get on the computer? Now, Mags is a bit of an inspiration for all of us. She lost 10 stone on the Atkins diet. She's got before and after pictures to see on the forum strand called Now You See It, Now You Don't. Inspiration for Irish Sandra. She says, I'm five foot two and feel like a golden delicious apple on legs. I've also just turned 40 last week, which is a huge relief to not have to be afraid of being 40 anymore. Happy birthday to you, Sandra. Another of our buddies says, I don't think anyone would believe how much I hate myself, as I always have a smile on my face, even though I'm dying inside. At 41, I have to do something. I've thought of surgery, but the costs are too high. And here's another. I have a husband who can eat and drink what he wants when he wants and still maintain his weight at around ten and a half stone. And it really makes me cringe that I am double his weight. Needless to say, it puts a strain on our relationship. I always wonder how he can find someone as big as me attractive. Don't get me wrong, she says, he loves me as I am, but I don't love me, so I can't let anyone love me. He tries to understand, but in my heart, I know he'll never understand what it feels like to be me. And what about this moan? Does it ring true with you? My mother, says one dieting buddy, is constantly on to me about my weight, and the more she gets on to me, the more I eat. I've gone off track for a few weeks now, and I can't get back. And what about Jolly Green Giant, who says he put on weight after doing too much DIY instead of going to the gym? And then bad things happened in his life, which took away what he calls his spark. And never having to think about his weight before, he just ended up putting on weight and not knowing. Giant, we've got to get that spark back. And what about the smoking thing? You give it up to get healthy, and then fat happens to you. Lots of dieting buddies are complaining about that. And can anyone please write to Joe M? He says he's so sick and tired of trying to lose weight. And all I seem to do, he says, is last for a week or two, starving myself, I might add, all or nothing, and then I eat more than ever and put more weight on. I know I eat for comfort. I really want support for what I can tell is a real problem. I'm unhappy now, he says, really unhappy. And if I could have a buddy to help me and encourage me and advise me, and I guess someone to talk about why I eat so much rather than eat my feelings away, any help would be great. Any tips for Kevin, who says he never feels full. He eats enormous meals. Even when I really try, he says, to eat small portions of the right foods, I still put on weight. Sometimes I get really motivated, and over a number of months I deprive myself of any little pleasures and lose a stone or even two, but one good weekend away and, hey, presto, it's back to square one. I now don't believe I'll ever be thin, he says. 
After all, you can't stay starving forever. Having babies is also a common theme. They do seem to wreck your body, don't they? And yet some people seem to snap right back into their pre-pregnancy shape. I did, only the first time. After that, I really had to work hard. There's no doubt to us at least that there must be a gene which predisposes some of us to put on weight. In the olden days when food was basic and there were no cars or computers to make us so sedentary, it probably didn't show in us. Nowadays, those of us with the gene have a struggle to keep slim. At least that's my theory, that's what I reckon. It doesn't help, of course, but it does explain our battle. One lady emailed me to say the website was all very well and she'd made a few friends on it already. But where was the news about me? Well, as you know, I've had the gastric band surgery and it has taken ages to adjust it and get it to the so-called sweet spot where it restricts you enough to help you lose weight, but not so much that life isn't worth living. I have found though that after years of yo-yo dieting that my metabolic rate is really low and I'm now doing quite a bit of weight training to try and build up some muscle. So I am losing weight but slowly. I've lost well more than half a stone since I was last on Celebrity Fit Club, but I am now determined to do it at my own speed and not get depressed every time I don't hit someone else's target. Well, that's all for me for now, but uh, there's plenty more around. If you click around the website, don't just sign up, contact others with your tips and advice or just your moans and groans. And please upload your photos it's pretty simple. You log in at the top right hand of the website, then click on my profile. It's just under where you signed in. This will take you to your own personal details page. What you see now is what others will see on the website. And to add a photo or change anything, you click on I wish to edit my profile. You'll now see the heading old photo and current photo. So to upload a photo, you click on the browse button. This will let you find the file on your computer, the, the photo that you want to use. You click on it once and it will then appear in your upload box. Scroll down and hit the submit photo. I look forward to seeing you, literally. <laughs>